Okay, then we're going to start uh, with a little uh, uh, five-minute demo on um, link custom present states. So um, I see there are four people following me right now. That's uh, cool. So I'll just start. Well, um, custom present states in link, uh, you can configure through uh, the client policy in link to distribute uh, centrally uh, to clients. So if we take a look at the client policy, which we only can configure through PowerShell, of course, client policy, and uh, more, so we actually can see what's uh, on here. So uh, there's a lot of things we can uh, configure in the client policy. What we're going to focus on now is um, custom uh, state URL, which you can see here. This line. What it does, it's, uh, it um, uh, publishes uh, on URL. You need to um, publish on your internal network or your external network so that uh, users and link clients can reach it whenever, wherever they are. So the format of this uh, file, which is an XML file, needs to be like this. And uh, what this does, it uh, gives you a possibility to configure uh, four custom pre present states that you can manually choose in link. So here I have uh, um, configured uh, two, three do not disturb uh, present states and one busy present state. And the title of them uh, is uh, work deep dive. One of them, the other is uh, presenting in Norwegian. And uh, the third do not disturb is uh, project meeting. So you actually can tell your peers what you actually are doing and um, you um, uh, also can uh, set this manually. The reason I have uh, it listed uh, more than once is you need to list it for each language, each client language. So I want this to be shown in my Norwegian client and I want this to be shown in my English client. And that uh, is also for uh, those viewing the present states. Uh, you need to have uh, a language code for each uh, client language you, the other users are using. So in uh, Atia, we use a combination of Norwegian and English. So that's why I have two uh, um, states here. So uh, the format of the XML file is like this. And uh, each uh, custom state has an ID. ID 1, 2, 3, 4. So, what we need to do in, uh, on the link server to publish this, um, exit out of here, we need to set CS client policy with an URL. URL. Everyone, everyone can see this. It can be either file URL, HTTP, or HTTPS. In this case, uh, this file is located locally on my computer, so I will use a file URL. So there's uh, different ways of publishing uh, this. So pressing enter will actually populate the client policy. And if you now do get uh, client policy, we'll see if we have the URL located. You may also notice I have um, a customized help URL configured here, which uh, can point to your internal uh, self-made um, teaching portal for users, launch portal for link. So actually in the link client, they can go on help and click on your help file. So it's built more built into the client. So what, what does this look like on the client? Unfortunately, I can't uh, demo this um, live as it takes some time for a client to update. 
So I will demo how you actually can configure this using uh, registry as well. But uh, the first option is better because it's inbound provisioning and all clients get uh, updated. So what we are looking for here is uh, these two entries you need for um, updating a custom presence uh, URL. So if I run this registry file, and then I uh, log out of link, and uh, sign in. We will get the custom presence states. So now I can manually choose uh, a custom presence state that is uh, for um, uh, speaking engagement or for a drag ponosk. So there we go. Custom presence states in link. Thank you.